Hey, what's up, guys? This is Joking John City Four, and today I got some news for you guys. For those of you who have been following me the whole year, you should know why I haven't been live streaming more consistently. Recently, it's been consistently because my job has changed. But you know, this whole summer, this whole year, um, you know, I've been gone due to the fact that I wanted to take care of my family. And um, you know, my oldest brother from Men and All Stars YouTube channel, he was about to pass away back in January. If the sickness reached his kidneys, you guys do not know he wasn't able to walk. He wasn't able to get off the bed. His whole body shut down, and um, he was about to pass away. You know, but he survived, and he has a lot of health updates in his channel. You guys might want to see it. And uh, I am proud of him. I am very proud of him. Uh, he found ways to really recover himself fast. By next year, he should be able to start jogging and running. Right now, he's walking. He's even coaching and walking and everything. He's super strong, man. I always saw him as a strong one in the whole, not well, all my brothers. <laughs> so, um, not my mom. Uh, this is the big news. For those of you guys who already read my community post, you guys should you, you guys should already know. Um, for those of you who do not know, she had stage two breast cancer this this year, starting in February. That's when we got the news. And yesterday we got the news that um, well, the fight is over. It's done. She beat breast cancer. I'm very proud of her, man. She is made out of iron. She is. She's beast. <laughs> she's a total beast, man. After every th single ch chemotherapy and stuff, like she would just drive home like it was nothing, like it, like it was any other day. Like she was that strong, cause you know people will tell you that chemotherapy is super tiring and super, it makes you super sleepy right away. You can't drive home. You'll be all dizzy. No, like she would just drive home like no, like nothing <laughs> after chemotherapy, man. Which is why I'm thinking like, damn, like she's blasting through this whole thing, you know. I'm glad though. I am very glad. But yeah, after a whole year, man, she's a few months away from being back to normal. So um, another thing though, besides uh, her beating cancer. Uh, she has decided to remove the roots of the cancer. Uh, she like the cancer's out of her body. Cancer's dead. The problem is that the roots are still there, and she has decided to lose the part for breast cancer. And um, I support that decision. I mean, she does like this is a big way to prevent from the cancer to grow again, and she won't have to go through the procedure again. So she just wants to be done with it and. I support that. I mean, with it or without it, I love her. So, um, I am very proud. <laughs> so, um, I'll give you guys an update on the surgery, you know, when it's going to be. And, um, after a few months after that, I'm pretty sure it's going to go back to work to how she wanted. You know, she misses work a lot. I mean, I know some people don't like work, but she misses work a lot. She like she likes moving around a lot, you know? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it's over, man. It's done. So pretty soon, I go back to live streaming schedule. And uh, pretty soon, she's going to be working. And uh, back to normal. Back to normal, man. I want to tell you guys a story real quick. I mean, at the beginning of this year, it was really terrifying. About to lose my oldest brother. About to lose my mom. Time was ticking, man. Time was ticking this year. And uh, what really sucked though, this is probably like the worst moment. Uh, when I first found out that she was stage 2 breast cancer, before I told her she was stage 2, all these other doctors in my city were telling her she was stage 7. She was stage 4. And I'm thinking to myself, at that point she wouldn't be able to walk. She, she would be in the medical bed or in a wheelchair. So I had to call up several of my friends who were like in the medical professions. And um, they confirmed she was stage two because in the paper it tells you like a number, and it says two on it. But I'm not sure if, this, if it was stage two. And yeah, they confirmed it was stage two. I sent them, send them a picture and everything, and yeah, it's stage two. So it really sucked that these other doctors were making her feel even worse, man. In my city, so uh, she had to go out the city to like really get some real help, and she did. These medical doctors through chemotherapy I mean they did their work they did their job and it was amazing she's made out of iron man <laughs> she is so tough 
So, um, so yeah, man, it's it's done. Thank you, everybody who have been following me here. Thank you, who everybody who sent me prayers. Thanks to everybody who really believed that, you know, she was gonna survive. I supported her all the way. All of us did. All of my family. Another story, another quick story. I know I'm making this video too long, but there's another thing. Um, when she first had her first surgery to install the device to track down the cancer, she told me that uh, when they put her to sleep, she said that she, she didn't dream of anybody. Like, none of us were there. Not even me. I wasn't even there in her dream. She dreamed about some hills and grass, but the grass was yellow, you know, like all dried up, and she was looking for us. So I was thinking, like, what would it cost that if we were here with her every day? You know, I always go shopping with her. And um, I looked outside the window, and there was nothing. There was only one plant, but it wasn't enough. So my way to support her, I planted a garden right outside her window. I even bought some vegetables to plant. And, you know, later in later months, we found out that damn birds ate the damn jalapenos and peppers that we planted but it was funny but it's fun that every day she told me how plants change and how they release flowers and stuff and it was giving her hope that was the point of me planting those that garden you know I wanted her to have something to look for every day something changing and I did my job. I really did. <sighs> all right, guys. I think that's enough. But uh, thank you all for watching. Thanks to everybody. Thank God. <sighs> she gets to live for several more years. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next one.